Kirtley Ambrose is the bowler from the outer end, southern or outer end, and he has two slips in a gully. And just wide of the second of those two slips, was very catchable for a third slip. Just out of reach of the second slip, Carl Hooper. Not a real positive shot there from Graham Gooch. Steering the ball. Fortunately for him, he steered it wide of second slip. Nice shot. It's the most confident looking shot we've seen so far in the innings. It's none for ten after four. That's beautiful time. Mitchell Harper's going to get it. He can't stop the four or run. Marshall just hasn't quite got it right. Graham Gooch on the other hand. Starting to find the middle of the bat. Well, that's it. A dozen off that over from Malcolm Marshall. Three. Wide from the pad down towards fine leg. They all count. It did come from the bat. Signal by umpire Woodward. Wide of Williams. A wayward delivery to start with. Four more. It was a shout of catch it, but uh, well, perhaps the bottom of the glove. Yes, there it is. Straight off the glove and out of uh, David Williams' reach. His feet beautifully locked it over the last, all the way to the boundary. It's fourth boundary to Graham Gooch. It's one for 71. It's the 50 for Graham Gooch. He's done it on many occasions. The panic stations here for Richie Richardson. Said before the net run rate will have a big bearing on, or could have a big bearing on final placings for the semi final. West Indies would prefer to win the game, but if they can't win it, they have to stop England winning comfortably. So the captains have got a lot to uh, consider. Martin Marshall bowled four overs for 23 at the start of the night, so he'll need to improve. On length more than anything else, he bowled far too short, far too inconsistently. And the ball flies across the outfield here. Martin Marshall just hasn't been able to get it right this evening. Too full, too short, too wide. Graham Gooch has worked a lot on his game. This is one of his one of his secrets. He's this is one of the facets he's worked on, trying to get himself to hit the ball straight to keep the delivery of the bat coming down straight. And you can tell by the path of that ball, splitting the gap between mid-on and the stumps, how straight he's playing tonight. It's a very good sign when Graham Gooch is playing that way. In the air, and a couple of bounces into the backward square leg fence, and that will bring the England supporters to their feet even some of the good-looking ones. Great shot from Graham Gooch. That's actually angled in nastily towards uh, Graham Gooch's chest and neck. He's just taken the head away at the last moment, but not before he's had a good enough look at it. Oh, he's got him. Yes, he stumped him. That one turned, went down the leg side. And I tell you what, he did very well to get the ball back there. It did turn quite sharply. Gooch missed it. And for a second, it looked as if he fumbled it. 
he got caught up in his clothing. There's a bounce off his arm and onto his chest and then down into his glove. Well, Graham Gooch has gone. Very good innings from the England captain. Beaten by the spin there. The fumble and another fumble and then off go the bales. Gooch out for 65. Stump Williams by Hooper. It's 3 for 126. Presentation area. Here's Tony Gregg with the two skippers and the player of the match. Thanks, Richie. Well, very well played, Graham Gooch. Your $3,000 check. Thank you. And uh, a magnificent performance. Not a bad toss to win, though. Yeah, I, I thought that he might do a little bit, but in fact, it, it moved around quite a bit out there, and uh, our guys made best use of it, and uh, got a few wickets, and then, of course, the West Indies were under pressure then, and uh, they struggled from then on, and chasing 150 wasn't going to be that easy, because they've got some very good bowlers, obviously, but uh, we're pleased to win. Two wins, two matches, that's four points, and uh, I don't know if you know this, but you're also at the top of the net run rate. Have you got uh, around to this <laughs> net run rate yet? Yeah, I think I got the idea of it, but... Uh, we just like to keep trying to win, obviously. The, the idea at the beginning is getting the semi-finals and then you're one game away from the finals, so that's what we're working towards. And uh, we're playing well at the moment and uh, we've got to keep it up. Well done today and uh, good luck down in uh, Adelaide against Pakistan. Thanks, Tony. Right, well, Richie Richardson's been good enough to come down too and collect the $1,500. Bad luck. That was a good toss to win. It did a bit, didn't it? Yeah, I thought we could um, had a bit in it early on and uh, English bowlers bowled very well and we struggled. In the end, we didn't get enough runs. <laughs> is there anything you can do, Richard? Uh, obviously, you've, you've won one now and lost one, so, I mean, it's still, everything's still in the balance. Uh, two spinners, are you perhaps going to consider changing that? Do you think you might... Well, we have to wait and see. I, it, I guess it all depends on, on, on the surface. I mean, when I looked at the wicket, it looked pretty hard, it looked pretty good, you know, but um, in, in the end, it uh, didn't turn out that way, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, bad luck today. Good luck in the next one. Thank you. Okay, well, we've also got a, a man of the match, and the man of the match gets this Benson and Hedges World Cup gold medallion. Plus, he gets a cheque for $500, and in this match, it was the England bowler. Really, he's an all-rounder, Chris Lewis. Congratulations, Chris. Thanks, there we are. You can, you, you can have that medal as well. Very well bowled. Did you enjoy bowling on that? Nice, uh, good toss to win it was, wasn't it? It certainly was from a bowling point of view. I mean, it's nice to get a wicket with a bit of bouncing in and with a bit of movement. And it's always nice to pick a few wickets up, especially early on in a one-day game. And this England side fielding really well too. Yeah, I think we're a very good side. We're a good all-round side. We feel well. We bowl well and we're batting well at the moment. Well, we're all very confident.